Hey guys, I'm back at it again with another video. Honestly, one of the main things, just being honest with you, is that I'm going to start with is like people treat you differently when you're out of shape. You know what I'm saying? For looks, from simple things from you getting a table at a restaurant, it is insane how evil people can be, how evil America can be. And I want you guys to understand that practice body game is a lifetime effect it's a lifetime lifestyle lifestyle you know what i mean like to where it's like people will promote you or not promote you based off of like body basically like like how you present yourself like you know what i'm saying for just clothes how you interview people are looking at you as a whole and this is something that also happened in real estate with dealing with money and everything like that one thing that I dealt with that was really, really new for me was dealing with somebody's perception of me, like basically how I carry myself and based off of how they perceive me, they perceived how well the transaction will go. So it was in, it was crazy to think about like how well I dressed or how well the clothes fitted me or how well my suit fitted me kind of gave me a upper hand with dealing with people, especially financially. It just made more sense for them to work with me or give me an opportunity than if you know say i drove a different type of car or if i a real estate firm or you know what i mean like worked for a different real estate company it's just that people like congruency and i've noticed that so much is that people will assume you'll either make a mistake or you'll get a win based off of who you're associated with so for me just being associated with like uh, for an example, Berkshire Hathaway of people just being like on their grind, working out, uh, taking care of family, working out as a family, having a family. People are looking at you as a whole. And I say that all the time. And I want you to not take that lightly because that was something I feel like I could have worked on better was just like my presentation on not my weight but just like overall like when you're practicing body game yes you want to be in shape but it's so much more than that it's more of a mentality it's more of a lifestyle and i think that when you're working on yourself you don't really recognize the perception that people have on you but it's such a positive effect on your life it's such a positive effect on how you're able to walk through the world how confident and how high you hold your head based off of experiences, based off of like someone flirting with you or somebody giving you an opportunity or someone opening the door for you or someone being nice to you. A lot of times somebody's not just being nice and genuine to you because they want to do it. We live in a world to where somebody, if they're not attracted to you, they're going to treat you based off of that with human nature. But I really want you guys to understand that it's definitely privileges that come with body game. And it's privileges that people subconsciously don't even know they're doing, whether they're giving you a different type of service or they're showing you favoritism. And I don't want you guys to be on the, be the butt end of the joke or, you know, what I'm saying be the person who's not benefiting from body game because it matters. You know, what I'm saying body game. It matters and people will treat you accordingly how they feel about you. You know, what I'm saying so they perceive you to be a certain way. That's what they believe is true. When I was going on the real estate meetings or when I was going to uh the different types of sales meetings or whatever like that they were looking at me to see my potential they were looking at me to see like okay well we have a positive perception of josh based on how way he carries himself uh they were judging me of well i guess really not having tattoos and everything like that and that just really gave me the push like the okay to for me to be hired you know what I mean? It's like a lot of times the Ber the companies were like reaching out to me to get hired and everything like that. And I just think that now looking back over it, I didn't realize how much body game played into that to where my mindset was to where it's like being motivated to go to the gym, being motivated to study and continuously doing that to I got to become a realtor. You know what I mean? Like it just really it really, really shocked me of how ambitious you can be just from going to the gym or of like how diligent or persistent you could be just going for the gym and just going dieting and seeing the results from working out because now looking back on it it just seemed like so small but it's so big because it changed my mindset of how i want to show up for myself and how i want to work in my work ethic like it just showed me that like okay you know business is something that i'm interested in business is something i want to do 
And for me being able to go to the gym, I realized that I can move mountains just from my mind, just how I feel about myself, just how I feel about working out, you know what I'm saying, being consistent. It showed me to be consistent because I know I wanted results. And if you want results, you get results by being consistent. It's not really necessarily like if you're successful or not, it's showing up every day. And I feel like I learned so much from that, from just working out. I just feel like I learned so much from that, from just a student of the gym, from me just going up every day just trying to work out just trying to get those workouts in, just try to be motivated just push even if i didn't feel like it or if i wanted to eat a certain thing i was just like you know what i'm gonna go to the gym whether if i was sad mad whatever emotion i was feeling if i was happy i was just like you know what regardless how i'm feeling right now let me just go to the gym and i just really really changed my mindset of how i wanted to show up for myself in my life you know what i mean like now looking back on it, i didn't really think about it but it just really showed me that like I want to keep pushing. I want to keep grinding. I want to keep getting better. And I can't slow down just because I'm feeling away. You know what I mean? It's just like if I wanted to make money or if I wanted to even post a video, it's just like I want to keep pushing. I want to keep going. I want to keep being persistent. I want to keep being educated. I want to keep growing. And it's just like, you know, when you let people in or when you're dealing with certain issues and you let that affect you, you slow down. You stop going to the gym. You stop being on your schedule. And it sucks, man. It's just like you don't realize how much time you waste by that. And you don't realize how much time goes by when you slow down, when you stop, when you become discouraged. You got to, like, cast out any unwelcome thoughts. You know what I mean? You really have to push yourself. You really have to go above and beyond because nobody's going to do it for you. And I feel like I learned so much from the gym, man. I learned so much. I learned so many things that I could have never learned because going to the gym is like an individual sport. It's nobody in there going for you. You know what I mean? It's it's nobody. You can invite people, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's you. It's you wanting to go. It's you persistently going because what if somebody doesn't show up? You still have to go. You still want these results. You still want that lifestyle. You still want that body type. So you got to put the work in to go. You got to do it. It's nobody's going to do it. And it's like I learned so much from me just wanting to get swole, wanting to get bigger, wanting to get aesthetic. And it just it's so many transferable uh, ideas and so many transferable ways of life that I learned from just going. You know what I mean? Like just persistently going, you know, what I'm saying, even going like every day, you know, uh, or bulking up, you know, just learning about the nutrition, learning about the different supplements, learning about GNC. And that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to understand that, you know, when you do work out, you become better. You become a better person and it strengthens you mentally. Like you can read all the self-help books and everything like that, but nothing is going to train your mind as well as pain, sacrifice and dedication from going into the gym. And it's just like it's going to show you, you know what? I got to get it done. I don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to do it because I need to do this. I need to do this for myself. I need to be healthier. And the perceptions are going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be such a positive perception that's going to be on you when somebody just sees that you're taking the time out to work on yourself. You're taking the time out to lift those weights, do cardio. And I just want you guys to understand that. I just want you guys to really, really understand body game because there's so much that goes into your body. You know what I'm saying? This is the body that you're going to, you're going to, wake up with this is the body you're going to raise your kids with and it's just like just take care of it you know what i'm saying you take care of your body your body's going to take care of you and when i say that it, it goes for everything it's just not just for body game it's for lifestyle you know what i'm saying you want this to be your lifestyle you want this to be how you go day to day and live your life you know what i mean so that's pretty much the end of the video man i just want you guys to be stronger i want you guys to be sharper because you know with this today's time generation you just have to do so much more than just going to a job you have to do so much more than just being the average joe because things can be taken away from you inflation just it's just so many things and i just i just want you guys to be successful you know what i mean because you guys push me and i want to push you and it's, it's a teamwork it's a team effort so just wanted to leave you guys with the that word thoughts of encouragement and everything like that so if you like the video make sure you like the video like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Appreciate it.